Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Mr. Zach, and today we are going to learn about UPSR essay writing section C. Uh, today's lesson, uh, in today's lesson, we will learn about four things. First one, what is section C? Uh, the format of section C essays and section C essay writing with one picture and says section C essay writing with three pictures okay so let's go to the first one what is section C section C is a 25 marks essay with two choices uh, it's usually a one picture or a three pictures they will usually give you a one picture essay or three pictures essay uh, sometimes they might give you more than one more than three pictures but that rarely happens so let's go to the first one okay the first one the format of section C we have one picture essay the picture given usually happens in the climax of the story when we have a one picture essay the picture that they give us is the climax of the story the climax means uh, it usually happens in the second paragraph and then we usually have three paragraphs for three pictures essays we are given three sets of pictures and for we must do three paragraphs picture one uh, tells us about paragraph one is about picture one paragraph two is about picture number two and paragraph three is about picture number three so these are the difference between one picture essay and the three picture essays okay let's move on to the next one when we write a one picture essay okay so this is the example the one pic of a one picture essay they might give you a word uh, a lot of word like this one and then uh, they will give you one picture so what happened in the picture is happens in the second paragraph okay so look at the word so waited push knock okay if you look at all those words you will realize the so knock waited and push all of them are in past tense so when you write the essays you need to write it in a past tense 90% it will happen in a past tense so your word the common side words like is uh, go change it to uh, past tense was were went okay so let's move on okay one picture essay this happens in the second paragraph so waited push knock so if the picture shows the second paragraph how about the first one what should we write because we know that all these words so waited no push it happens in the first uh it happens in the second paragraph so the picture is about the second paragraph so what should we write in the first paragraph okay so for the first paragraph what we need to write is okay remember this format who did what when and where so before the picture then what happened before the picture so this one is about the first paragraph who did what when and where and then then what happened before the picture what happened before they go to the canteen so if you look at the second picture they are in the canteen so you cannot say about the canteen in the first picture so what should you write if you look at the table we only have recess so how should we write what happened before the picture is what happened 
before they went for recess so recess is a recess time time for you to rest and go and buy food where at the canteen okay so when we write about one picture essay for paragraph one for the first paragraph look at the name there recess uh, it was recess time brian chen and i okay so the formula is who what when and where this is the first formula you can change it to when a uh, what where and who or something like that as long as you have these four questions in your first uh, to help you write the first sentence okay so who what when and where you can say something like this last year it was recess time at school for who i haven't write it here when is last year what is it was recess time where is at school but for who i haven't write it here it's okay next we have then what happened before the picture just now we answer this question who jen and her classmates okay jen and her classmates and then when to the canteen again to the canteen is where and then what is to buy some food okay so there are three names here that i've given you jane the girl brian the boy who was pushed and i the one in front or you can give it some other name later so it depends on whose story to tell in this picture uh, for me i will be writing about jane so jane and her classmates went to the canteen but if you would like to write about yourself about you i so you write like this last year it was recess time at school my classmates and i went to the canteen to buy some food so if you are more uh, familiar or you are more comfortable writing i went uh, i saw you want to write about yourself then you may say my classmate and i but if you want to talk about someone else you can say about jane or maybe you want to talk from brian's perspective so brian and his classmate went to the canteen to buy some food okay so you can choose uh, between the three people there or oh, and then afterward write the feeling after who what when and where and then what happened before the picture the next one you write is feeling so if you write about Jane just now last year it was recess time at school Jen and her classmates went to the canteen to buy some food she was extremely hungry you can say her feeling or you can say he was extremely hungry when you talk about brian or you can say they were extremely hungry or you want to talk about everyone or you can just say about i was extremely hungry when you talk about yourself so you have four choices there okay so let's look at how paragraph one should be okay paragraph one last year it was recess time recess in red color because you're using the word remember if you do not know how to use the word you can choose not to use any of the words given as long as your story is logic it's related to the picture it tells you a story about the picture okay so last year it was recess time at school Jen and her classmates went to the school to buy some food they were extremely hungry so this is how you write paragraph one uh, when last year uh, uh, what it was recess time and where at school who Jen and her classmates what did they do went to the canteen to buy some food and then they are feeling they were extremely hungry why they go there okay remember for first paragraph we don't use space so the first letter last year before last year you don't have to put space like in paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 okay so let's go to the second paragraph okay so for the second paragraph look at the word we have so the girl so jane so and then we have waited brian waited and then we have knock we have 
uh, the bu who knock the bully knock and then we have uh, push okay so how do we write Brian let's give the name Dylan to the to the boy because I am going to write from Jen's point of view so this is a story about Jen she saw what happened in the canteen so for the second paragraph these are the words given just now we have saw we have waited we have push and we have knock so when we want to put it into words in the into paragraph uh, and we have a bully bully is the people who bully somebody we have learned this in year five okay so first one you need to answer this question where what happened in the picture so how do you write in the canteen what happened everyone waited for their turn to buy food from the canteen uncle because we have the word waited there and they were lining up and then what happened who saw what happened to who the keyword is what happened so jane saw a bully cutting line and push brian out of the blue out of the blue here means suddenly then what happened to who then brian accidentally knocked over dylan okay so this is the second paragraph you can write it like this one in the canteen everyone waited for their turn to buy food from the canteen uncle jen saw a bully cutting line and pushed brian out of the blue then brian accidentally knocked over dylan okay so the next one we are going to learn about the third paragraph so what is the third paragraph the third paragraph happens after the picture if the first paragraph happens before the picture the third paragraph happens after the picture so what happened look at the word which one haven't been used discipline detention misbehaving and apologize if you don't know how to use the word then don't worry don't use any of it just write uh, what do you think happened afterwards okay so after the picture what do you think happened okay in the end Dylan's food fell over to the floor yes after somebody knocked after Brian knocked Dylan the food must have dropped to the floor and then what is their feeling Dylan was feeling blue feeling blue here means feeling very sad extremely sad and then everyone was shocked <gasps> shock why not shock shock because they saw the food fell down and then how did the story end the discipline teacher came and the bully was sent to the detention for misbehaving he regretted his action and apologized for his mistake so if you don't know how to use the discipline teacher you can just say the teacher came and the boy was sent to the office uh, and then the usual uh, ending for this kind of story in the school is he regretted his action and apologized for his mistake and promised not to do it again something like that okay so you can write it like this one paragraph 3 in the end Dylan's food fell over to the floor Dylan was feeling blue and everyone was shocked the discipline teacher came and the bully was sent to detention for misbehaving he regretted his action and apologized for his mistake he promised never to repeat it again so this is the typical way to end a story okay so all together we have last year it was recess time at school jen and her classmate went to the school canteen to buy some food they were extremely hungry and then we have paragraph two and we have paragraph three if you need time to write the essay you can pause the video or you can just re-watch the video later and write it in your full scale paper okay let's move on to the next one so the second format is we have three pictures with three paragraphs so what does it mean we have paragraph one what happened in the picture one 
we write in paragraph one and then what happened in picture two is in the paragraph two and what happened in picture three is in the third picture so we have three pictures here so we are going to make a story about it usually they will give you some words here but let's practice writing without any words let's just look at what happened and just write okay so for paragraph one look at the picture it's a picture of a girl or a woman uh, walking around with her handbag uh, talking uh, at to somebody in the mobile phone so what happened is the first one Sam same thing with the one picture you need to answer the who what when and where so who refers to okay let's give the girl a name Mary what is she doing Mary was walking when uh, last year where in town I've got the blue and red color wrong but it's okay don't worry uh, Mary was walking in town last year then what happened what happened after what do you think happened in this picture still in the picture uh, okay she was busy talking with her friends on the phone okay she was holding a mobile phone so this one is paragraph one her feeling she was so preoccupied she was out to lunch okay so there are two words here the first one is preoccupied what preoccupied means is you are very busy doing something or talking or uh, basically you are very busy doing something yet that you don't realize uh, you don't realize anything for example i'm so preoccupied playing games you don't i, I didn't list, i didn't hear my mother call me for lunch and then the second one she was out to lunch the word out to lunch here means it's an idiom or is it a proverb i'm not sure i forgot which one idiom or proverb but it means that you were not paying attention okay you didn't pay attention uh you didn't see or you didn't hear you cannot see you cannot hear you don't realize what happened in your surrounding okay that's the meaning so for paragraph one you should write it like this Mary was walking in town last year. She was busy talking with her friends on the phone. She was so preoccupied she was out to lunch. Okay, this is example. Okay, now let's move on to paragraph 2. Don't worry if it's too fast. I will repeat it again later or you can just pause the video or you can just rewatch it later. So for paragraph 2 is what happened in the picture. Uh, you write it there so you can see suddenly there's a guy there the guy snatched the bag and then what happened to the girl the girl fell down so what do you write where what happened in the picture suddenly a snatcher came from behind and snatched her handbag right where uh what happened it's actually just what happened in the picture suddenly a snatcher snatcher is like a thief but thief is more general burglar is someone who goes to your house and snatcher someone who snatch and uh, grab your things just like this one in the picture so look at the word came a past tense snatch past tense okay and then her feeling what happened when after she she her bag was snatched she was shaking in her boots shaking in her boots is another idiom it means that she was very afraid okay so what happened next then what happened she fell to the ground and immediately shouted for help okay so this is what happened in the second picture first what happened in the picture suddenly a snatcher come came from behind and snatched her back then what happened she fell to the ground and immediately shouted for help and then what does she feel she, she was shaking in her boots okay i put idiom here because the more uh if you use more idioms and proverbs uh beautiful words in your writing you will get more marks as compared to using the normal uh essay 
normal words okay so let's look at paragraph 2 suddenly a snatcher came from behind and snatched her handbag she fell to the ground and immediately shouted for help she was shaking in her boots remember shaking in her boots means she felt very scared that is the meaning okay for the paragraph 3 for the last one you can say something like this in the end what happened uh, a kind waitress saw what had happened uh, and then then what happened she helped her out and calmed her with a cup of tea and then uh, she was heartbroken to lose her belongings she learned to look before she leaped okay here heartbroken means you are very sad to look before you leap you change it to look before she leap it means that next time she will be more careful that is the meaning so all together paragraph 3 will be like this a kind way to saw what had happened she helped her out and calm her with a cup of tea again use past tense she was heartbroken to lose her belongings she learned to look before she leaves she promised to be more careful from the moment or if you want to change the story you can she immediately call uh, her parents for help because she's holding the phone right you can write any story as long as your story is logic and it's about the picture okay so i hope you understand so this is the complete uh, three paragraphs for this story paragraph one paragraph two and paragraph three so that's it for today i hope you understand and see you next week bye